Okay, here we are. Back at the bench. It's still August 2018. But today, the temperature is tolerable. Might even be a little chill in the air. So it's kind of like Mother Nature is letting us know that this god-awful summer thing is on its way out. But this is New York, so we're going to get our ass waxed at least one or two more times before that actually happens. Anyway, I got a couple of stones out here, and I had the, the phone camera thing set up, and uh, you know, I've been making stuff this week, so I figured I'd just do a quick honing video, a vlog type of thing with, you know, no lesson involved. <laughs> um, I got this nice Wakasa out, and um, I guess the reason it's out actually is uh, I had put it in my Etsy store, and I had given it a description, and I had rated it originally as being hard just at the line of very hard, or maybe like a nanometer into the land of very hard. But then what happened was is uh, I had her do some more lapping to it to uh, dress the edges in the uh, chamfers. And looks like this might need a little bit more. I'm probably going to leave that, though. Let the new owner take care of that. It's fine. It's out of the way right now. Um, and it felt harder, you know. And I came back and honed. And I was like, wow, this is, this is much harder. So it's one of those things. Um, and people don't talk about it, so I'm going to right now. Uh, you get a stone, it comes from whoever, wherever. It's been laying in their basement, it's been in their attic, it's been like somewhere. Um, <clears throat> and um, top is oxidized, you know. And, you know, we talk about lapping the stone to make it flat. We, we also need to lap off that oxidation, okay. That oxidation can give you a false read on the stone. It can seem harder when it's softer. In this particular case, it seems softer when it was actually much harder. This stone actually is a good bit into the world the very hard so um I, I already did a couple of razors on it already and then dried it off and then lapped it again and uh, been honing all weekend um this morning shave i uh, i compared uh edges uh, i shaved with two blades uh, my swede and uh just hurt her this is uh, a dedicated to pastes my my tomo blue paste actually now and I'm comparing this edge to this, which is, you know, purely uh, stone edges. And, um, you know, it's sort of a relaxed kind of comparison. Just want to see how long the edges on this last and, you know, whatever. And, and anyway, that's what I do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I had this out and it was sold as Wakasa. As actually, it was sold to me as probably Wakasa, but I, I started looking at this undulating pattern in it, and you can like really see it, I started thinking it was um, actually uh, kind of reminded me of Yumaji, and you know, I, I know there's guys that like want to tell you that they can read the Kawa, and they, they put it under a, uh, a pyramid, and you know, they burn incense, and they meditate on it, and then they know where the stone is from, because you know, there's some sort of shiny shit in the cow or whatever that's all bullshit okay i don't know where it's from i was told it was probably wakasa so i'm gonna roll with it uh the pattern reminded me of a stone i had from yumaji but now after lapping off that top a little bit further and getting into like you know the meat of the situation a little bit further into the meat anyway i had lapped off a good bit to begin with i guess i didn't clear all of that oxidation but now I'm down here, and it's like, wowzer. Yeah, this is this is dope. Uh, I'm liking this a lot. This is capable of going to uh, Lightsaberville if your skills are there. Anyway, so I had that out. Figured I'd make a video. I had this out, too. And I don't show this often enough, and I don't use it often enough. And for what it's worth, I put a lot of work into this. This is my Nakatakule, and it's a piece of Nakayama Karasu. and some cuticle. Okay, so I got like, let me see here. This part, this thick part over here, that's all cuticle. And this thinner part from the dark line going like to this direction, that is the um, Nakayama, the, the Karasu. So what happened was long ago, I, I found, why well, I didn't find it. Someone found it for me, said, hey, are you interested in this? It's like 10 millimeters thick, but it's like perfectly flat. You could glue it to a board and hone. So I bought it, and I contacted Ardennes, Arden, I think is the actual way to say it, uh, the quarry, 
and um, asked them for a piece of codicule with no backing. And uh, after some discussion, they uh, accepted the order, and uh, I slapped it together. And I, I asked for a softer piece that, you know, is basically going to, in this particular situation, I can finish on the cuticle. It's going to give me that, like, nice buttery edge. But this is a little bit softer cuticle, and it might auto slurry, like, a little, little tiny bit. So, really, in this setup, well, okay, this is, like, my early mid-range to um, upper mid-range, you know. And um, I know that there's that word, pre-finish. I, I hate that term. Okay, and um, then I, I come over to here, or I can just use this, you know. I can do a um, Nagura progression on there if I want to. Uh, I have a two-sided slurry stone. How cool is that? It's actually cut from, like, whatever. I forget which end it was, but whatever. It's cut from that. And, um, yeah, it's very cool. I, I really like it because it's neat. I don't think too many people have them. And um, it's always neat to have something that, like, no one else does. What am I doing? Jeez. <laughs> not thinking is what I'm doing. Okay, so what I want to do is just like, you now maybe talk about this cuticle a little bit. Like I said, it's a little bit softer. You see the pattern in it. It has like, it almost has a uh, La Grossa Blanche look to it, except it, it's not doing that sunburning thing, or at least it didn't when I had it on the windowsill. But it has that like little orangey nature to it that I find in some of those stones. Um, I asked the guy once who like knows how to tell the difference, uh, like you know w what exactly are the differences? Can you tell me? And he gave me some like fucking mystical, magical, like riddle-based bullshit. It's like I'm the kind of guy, just don't tell me, okay? Don't give me some like you got to look on a Wednesday at three o'clock under a pyramid. No, I, I don't want to hear that. What I want to hear is if it looks like this, then it's probably that. He wasn't able to do that. So I ascertained my own thing. And I, I, I noticed that a lot of those uh, La Grossa Blanches have this sort of creamy, orangey, yellowy type of thing going on. But this has that, but I'm pretty sure it's not a La Grossa Blanche. I'm thinking it might be related to some kind of La Grise. But, you know, it doesn't feel like a La Grise. It doesn't have the flaking of the La Grise. Yeah, so there's something going on here. And I guess at the end of the day, we really don't need to know. So basically what I'm doing here, right, I'm going to do some laps on this. And, like, can you hear that? You probably can't. Here, let me uh, bring it up here. I'm, I'm honing by the mic. All right, so I have a very smooth, slightly wispy type of audible feedback. The feeling under the blade which is uh, equally important, is also very smooth. It's not like a fabric. It's not like a satin. It's not like it's not like chocolate either. You know, um, I hate to say it. It kind of feels a little bit like a soft stone. <laughs> I mean, it's not that soft, you know. Uh, you can see that it's not that fast. Um, and... Uh, I, you know, I, I really like it for, for this application. Um, I like all cuticles, actually. Uh, recently, I was reading on Reddit, some guy was saying that uh, he feels that uh, most cuticles made, manufactured, or sold today, uh, new cuticles are, I don't know, I think he said something like 7K or something like that. And hey, I don't know where these people get their numbers from. Or, so I, I'm lightening my pressure. I did like... Uh, this is like a, a Keith Aquat, <laughs> as opposed to a Dooley Cut. I, I have no rules. Um, I, I'm not into that, like, measure one dram of liquid per 20 strokes. I'm not into any of that. Basically, all I'm doing here is, is I'm wiping out the previous footprint. It's a slow stone, but it's capable of doing that. This is actually a, a mid-range stone, uh, so far as speed goes. But um, it'll do a pretty good job, a very good job, actually, of uh, taking off the uh, original fingerprint of what was there from the previous honing. There's actually a number of things going on on that blade. So I think after this time or the next time, I'm going to have to zero it on a 1K and then come back. But for this informal, non-important testing that I'm doing, 
which is basically like a little more than just regular shaving and maybe I'm paying a little closer attention um, this type of thing is just fine now if you notice I'm picking up some like swarf in, in, in the uh, slurry but not a whole lot yeah that, that's kind of fine for now alright so uh, I just rinsed the stone off sorry about that and then there's that and you know so I wipe the blade off okay that's good there I, I rinse this off in the sink later on alright so now I'm gonna come over here to this bad boy and uh, hit it with some water take out my nice combo slurry tomo thingamabob I know someone's gonna ask have I ever used the slurry from the Cotty side on the JNAT. Yes. <laughs> Why am I not talking about it? Well, you know. To be honest, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> and that could be a whole nother video. In fact, it probably will be. Anyway, okay, here we are. We have, you hear that? It's like kind of a dull sound. As opposed to that bright sound that I was, uh, getting from the Tomo off of this giant Ozuko. <laughs> I know Matt in, in the UK is, is probably watching this right now and he, he just saw this Ozuko pop in one more time and he's going to email me and be like, you're killing me, dude. <laughs> now you can hear again. Let me see if I get this up by the mic. Now, see, I hope, hope you picked that up. Again, it's wispy but it's more satiny and it's a completely different stone so you know that that reference point doesn't re like you can't contrast there you can't compare I'm just talking about it because these are the things I pay attention to and it might be something that could help you in the long run if you learn to discern the differences in the tells the different feedback the different audibles the different tactiles you know you know, the other things we look for, you know, undercut. And you can see this is like undercutting like mad already. I'll do some nice X strokes. So this slurry has a tendency to block up, become muddy really quick. And this Nakayama Karasu is like so packed full of abrasive. It's, it's like ridiculous. That's why it got to be 10 millimeters thin, thick, whatever you want to call it. And it wasn't thrown away. Somebody held on to it because it's a killer freaking piece of stone. Okay. How it went up for sale or on a trading block, I don't know. It's one of those like weird things that goes on in Japan. Stuff I can never figure out. Like if you're going to go through all that effort to like save this piece of rock, are you really doing it to barter later? But maybe something else was out there that he wanted better. I, I don't know. Anyway, if you let this go muddy, boom, your edge is dead. Yeah, just like that. Boom, no edge. Okay, can you get it back? Maybe. You go too far? Definitely not. You got to go back to the next step. Um, so you got to watch your slurry density. You know, and slurry density and slurry volume, in other words, a lot of slurry isn't necessarily thick. So that's something to remember when, when you're talking, you're dialoguing, you're asking questions. People are like, you know, what kind of slurry do I need? And everybody's like, it should be like cream or it should be like yogurt. And then, you know, uh, it turns out that people are mixing up the amount of slurry on the stone as opposed to actually how thick it is, all right? This right here, oh, let me see if I can get some up on the blade. See how it drips off like that? It, that's how it should drip off, okay? If it gets thicker than that, yeah, you're flirting with disaster. So that time it was three squirts. sort of like just buying myself some time here let me get some more work in on the stone keep it really wet you notice sometimes I push slurry off I don't talk about that I do it intentionally most of the time right now I'm trying to keep most of it on but do you see how how thick this is getting already see it, it didn't just drip right off gotta be careful with this I'm still safe, but I'm just pointing that out. Um, yeah, sometimes I don't want so much slurry up on top. Uh, 
and it just makes it too hard for me to see. I like to work with a lot of slurry so I get an even hit on the bevel, but there's a point where there's too much on the stone where I can't really see or hear too well. So it's like a balance. It's like anything else. It's like a yin yang. Yeah, this is coming along nicely. You know? So. The feedback has changed a little bit. Uh, we've moved from the wispy thing over towards a more silent type of feedback. And uh, the sensation has just now become very much like that melting chocolate bar. My pressure is still here, but it's finishing pressure. It's not like mid-range pressure, but it, it's still present on the stone. I haven't backed off yet. Okay, I'm starting to now to that like weight of the blade thing. And there's a reason for that. I'm not going to go all the way on the stone is the main reason. But I am using exceedingly light pressure right here. And I could finish with this if I want to. And this is probably the pressure that a lot of people finish with. But for me, I usually like literally hold back. So if I'm going to finish, uh, uh, we, we like to say less than weight of the blade. And I, I know they, people want to argue with that. It's like, well, how do you know it's less than a kilo? Because I know, okay? That's that's why. You want to argue with that? Please. This argumentation thing online, by the way, is really irking my pork, all right? It's like everywhere I go, guys just want to argue about shit. And it's like, <laughs> who the fuck cares? It's a razor. It's a stone. You rub this on that it gets sharper then you go shave with it it's like i just saw a meme it said men are the new bitches i mean like i'm totally down with that theory it's like definitely a possibility not all men but geez this argue this constant petty back and forth i know more than you crap uh, anyway i know james uh, is like right now he's worried that i'm going to go on an anti-social media rant <laughs> Anyway, so I, I got this little piece of comb out, and I got this nice Wakasa wand <laughs> on. Um, I don't know what you want, like a finger, actually. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that, that, that's a nice piece of comb, right? Look at that. Look at that pattern. That beautiful, what? Nice, 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 nice stripey. I don't know why this was not graded. Tokyo Daiju. They just left the Tokyo. I definitely see this being square enough to be like that top grade, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Somebody saw something, I don't. Um, and it's not my place to argue with those boys because I'm a newcomer <laughs> in the world of um, Nagoro compared to the people that actually put the stamps on these things. Yeah, it's another thing that happened. I got into a little bit of a thing with somebody in... Uh, stamps on Nagura and uh, you'll see most of the time that oh god the feeling on this is like freaking like nuts really it, it Matt if you're watching it, this feels like that squarish copa of Wakasa yeah it's like the frozen chocolate bar but it's not melting it's just frozen like somehow it, yeah it's really nice uh, I got a wispy sound to it uh, it's a little bit high pitched there's a slight grain, there's a slight, like, silky kind of feeling in there. Um, yeah, the feeling's nice. All right. I like the shape of this stone uh, for a couple of reasons. One, like, I, see how, uh, you see how, like, the, the heel of my thumb fits right in this, like, crook over there? All right, that's nice. Uh, the balance is good like that. So handheld work, even though this is long and big, that, like, handling thing. Let's see, I'll move this out of the way. This is actually like very cool. The center of gravity is right here. So the, the, the long thin part doesn't matter. It's back here and it's nice. Um, I usually hone on my bench though, but there are times when I go to the sink to just do a quick pick me up and uh, yeah, this is cool for that. Got some dry spots on the stone from that little bit of a circus act I did. Yeah, it's nice. It's super nice. This is a super nice piece of rock, and whoever gets this will have themselves a very nice 
hone that can do it all. You can do Nagura progressions on this. You can do finishing on this. Water only is going to be a little bit of a trick because it is that hard. But um, one thing I like about these stones that have tape, you see how the heel is on and the toe is off. I'm saving myself from a little bit of toe wear. Um, yeah, I know it's theoretical, but it's there, you know, and um, it makes me feel good. You know, whenever you have a stone, look for the positive traits and roll with that, you know. If somebody wants to argue with you about it, like, I don't know, tell them to... Nah, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's my point, you know. Be happy with your stone. Yeah, I just had, uh, like I said, I got this message on Etsy from uh, someone who apparently uh, used to sell stones or something. I, I don't know. The guy's like and out of his mind okay just he's trying to be mean but he's like making references to things that like just reading what he wrote tells me this guy doesn't know his ass from his elbow so it's kind of like walking down the street and having some like insane crackhead homeless guy call your names your first inclination is to like get into it but then you're like the guy's fucking nuts it doesn't matter <laughs> you know um yeah so there's that um i avoid those people like the plague i'm not even responding to it it's like it's not worth my time to respond to the guy it's i would have to educate him he would deny the education so i will have wasted my time reading his first mail and writing the second one there'll probably be a follow-up from him that will be as rude and coarse and as asinine as the first one so it just propagates itself so the thing to do bail now cut my losses and uh move on you know it's partially my own fault somebody asked me for an opinion on something and you know normally my first thing that i ask people is where did you get that <laughs> and um i didn't do that this time because the way the story was proposed to me it didn't seem like the article in question came from uh, like a known seller or anything like that I know better next time somebody says hey what do you think of this stone the first thing out of my mouth is going to be where'd you get it and the response is going to have to satisfy me I, I, I you know drama I don't need drama you know I, I came up in forums you know, back in the early 2000s, the knife sharpening forums, all it was was drama. You know, I was a lurker back then, but I was like appalled that men could act like that. You know? I'm not saying men versus women. I'm talking about men versus boys, in case you're wondering. You know, it just seemed like high school bullshit. And um, I vowed that I was going to stay out of that. And I wound up at one point getting sucked into that manner of communication. I pulled myself out. And today, that's where I stay. Yeah, this is a sweet stone, man. Not for nothing. This comb is no joke either. Yeah, I can feel everything on the uh, blade, toe to heel, heel to toe, however you want to look at it. I, I, I have felt everything at this point come into line, so I'm good. So I'm going to put some, you can hear that high-pitched sound versus before. Go back to that other point and, and listen to my slurring. Same tomo here as it was before, but you can hear how higher pitched this is. right there that'll tell you this puppy is harder than the other one you know and hardness is only one thing there's lots of different types of hard you know I, I, I remember there's a little thing that I got to do some more lapping here um, take a look at that yeah I'm gonna just bring the chamfer in a little tiny bit not feeling it with the blade but I'm feeling it with this and it might actually be under the chamfer, but I'm not sure enough. Anyway, you 
Yeah, this is nice. Um, I'm getting it done here. Well, done for this. I, I, I could go on and on and on and on and on. I'm going to shave with this, and then I'm probably going to rehome the whole freaking thing. So there's no real point for me to go, like, completely, like, into the upper stratosphere here with this thing. Um, I have more than a great shaving edge right now, and that's all I really need. I'll probably shave with this when I come home from work tomorrow. I already shaved today. I know it's unusual shaving in the daytime. I usually shave at night. But... My girl and I were doing a video um, for one of our relatives, and I didn't want to look like a grubby dirtbag, so I got cleaned up. <laughs> and uh, so that's that. And I'll get to shave with this until tomorrow. Anyway, I hope I didn't ramble too much or get too uh, far off course too many times. Uh, I, I know I do that occasionally, but it's just, you know, the way my brain works. Um, I'm really loving this stone. Uh, I like a lot. I'm going to redo the lapping on it. There, there, like I said, there's a little, it's like right here. I think it's actually under the, the line, but I'm going to drop it down a little bit more for safety's sake and, uh, clean it off and sitting in my Etsy store right now. I may take it down and keep it for a little while. That's how much I like this. Anyway, <clears throat> so that's it for today, you know? That's the deal. Uh, just a little bit of honing on this Wakasa and my Nakatakule. And uh, put this guy in there over here. Oops, penguin down. Put him over there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Having fun. Just I got the stones out and I'm honing. That, that's what it's all about, you know? Getting down on the stone, putting an edge on it, go share with it, enjoy it. This arguing thing, people need to get over that. All right? Anyway, till next time, take care. Talk to you soon.